beautiful people welcome and welcome back to cat talks youtube channel and this is a channel where i give you verified information about cars 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 and everything cars and my name is wairi magashoke i am your host and as you can see we are always at real motors where they bring you the best of the best cars used and even the new cars so welcome again to this channel this is another new day another new week and let's thank the lord that he has given us this week to deal with what we are doing today so kindly subscribe to this channel make sure you hit that subscription button tafadhali tafadhali wasi wangu yani like why aren't you why aren't you subscribing akimbona mbona tu mbona to subscribe i only have like 10% of you who have subscribed tafadhali tafadhali so having subscribed and thank you for that uh, let's go into the video so Today we are going to discuss about Toyota Harrier. Tunajua tu anti Waharia. Yes. So today I'm the anti Waharia and we are going to discuss about the old model Toyota Harrier 2009 and 2015 Toyota Harrier. Cuz I know 2015 2016 that's what we have mostly in our market in our Kenyan market. So It's like the new version to us but we know yes kuna zingine zimetolewa but for now let's discuss about Toyota Harrier 2015 and Toyota Harrier 2009 let's get the differences without much ado let's get into the as you can see uh, these two beautiful cars all of them are SUVs which means it has five doors which are two front two rear and also it has a tailgate and when you're comparing these two SUVs uh, the only difference that we can compare from the outside is the length the height and uh, also the width you get that when you're talking about uh, the the new one it's uh, slightly smaller than the uh the old one the 2009 one and uh yeah and then again from the first leaf to get that this 2015 Toyota Harrier just looks so awesome you can just see just look at those headlights uh the angular and you can get that they have really 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 done something nice about it and it looks a bit different from the normal the older version of the Toyota Harrier in that you can get that it has some curves just below the tail uh, just below the headlights as compared to the new one which uh, the older one the 2009 one which has bigger headlights and it doesn't have those uh, curves zenye tunaangalia from outside Let's just have a look at the grill. You can just see the grill from uh, on this new one. Uh it really really looks awesome. And you can get that uh there is one thing that stands out uh in Toyota Harrier which is the Eagle Max band which is unlike other other models from the Toyota company which has a Toyota uh brand on on the side on the front side of the car this uh from the Toyota Harrier you get that it has an eagle on the on the front side of the car so that's some of the differences uh that we have from the outside and let's just get into the hood of this car and see what what are the differences mainly and before that let's talk about the a ground clearance of these two cars actually the ground clearance is almost the same because for the first one the 2009 one the ground clearance is around 16.1 cm and for the new one uh, we get that uh, the ground clearance is around 15.9 cm just uh, just like 2 cm difference between the two cars so mainly 
uh, when you're looking at the newer one, the newer shape, uh, you get that. The Toyota Harrier 2015 is a bit smaller, but about the convenience, about the reliability, comfortability, and also enjoyment when you're driving your car, they are quite similar. And even, you, you may get that for the 2015, the Toyota Harrier is even better and even faster. So let's get into the hood of the car and see what it carries. So Karibu to the engine of the car. edition of this car and let me just give you a highlight of the Toyota Harrier. The first Harrier was manufactured in 1997. That was the first uh, generation of the Harriers which was manufactured for six years and then after the sixth year we got the second generation of the Harrier. This is a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter engine which has four cylinders and it has a power of which produces a power of 119.3 kilowatts at 5600 revolutions per minute and again it produces a maximum torque of 220.6 newton meters uh, that is at 4000 revolutions per minute uh, According to that, we also see that uh, this engine uses the valve, variable valve technology, which is a Toyota technology which you, uh, most of the vehicles used to use. Hapon Beleni Kiasi. Engine power is transmitted to the road by a four wheel drive with a 480 gearbox. So, and uh, definitely, this car is a four wheel drive which is transmitted throughout the wheels from the front to the back. Let's talk about 2015 Toyota Harrier. Actually, this uh, Toyota Harrier comes in two versions, which is 2.0 liter engine, which has a label of 3ZR FAE engine. And we also have 2.5 liter 2A FXE petrol hybrid engine. So those are the two variants that this model Toyota area comes with. And let's just look at this one which is a 2.0 liter engine. And let's talk about the gearbox. Uh, the gearbox uh, for which is used in this car is a CVT uh, gear system which is a continuous variable transmission which mainly means that it is uses a continuously, not really at easy like your box, yes, the counter like seven, like most of the cars uses. It uses the continuous variable uh, gear system. This engine is capable of producing a power of 151 at 6,100 revolutions per minute and at the maximum top of 190 newton meters at 3,800 revolutions per minute. And we haven't talk about, talked about the braking system of these two different cars. So let's get into the braking of uh, the braking system of this beautiful Toyota Harrier 2009 and 2015 and see the difference. When you're talking about the braking system, we cannot uh, forget to talk about the wheels. And as you can see, these wheels are 235 stroke 65, and it is served with a 17 inch alloy ring. And this applies to both wheels uh, on the 2009 and the 2015 Toyota Harrier. And as you can see, when you're talking about the braking system, actually the braking system is just 
Apa tu kwa migu actually? The braking system in this car is V discs in the front, which is easy. And also we get that it has a disc braking system on the rear wheels. Whereas we, we will get to see what we have in the Toyota Harrier 2015. As I said earlier, uh, the wheels of this uh, Toyota Harrier 2015 are all, are all the same with the Toyota Harrier 2009. But when you're looking at the braking system, you get that uh, both use uh, disc, the, this Toyota Harrier 2015 used the disc uh, braking system, whereby the front they used the ventilated braking system, whereas the behind they used the solid braking system. And that's all about the braking system, so let's get into the interior of this car and see what the differences are. Uh, the leather finish on some of uh, the steering wheel and also we get that uh, this car has very ample spacing especially the leg room, the headroom that is really really perfect yeah you cannot miss talking about that and let's talk about the dashboard the dashboard is very important and as you can see from where I sit uh, we have this space, uh, we have the steering wheel, which is leather covered. And uh, this car is not really, considering the Akitambo Kiasi, it's not a very, uh, see, very electrical, see, kila kitu atiko automatic. Still on the other side, you get that kila kitu, especially on the dashboard, ni very reliable, nani vitu very easy to use. And uh, from here where I sit, to Konai dashboard which has the infotainment uh, system which is very large and very vocal on the dashboard. You cannot miss to see it. And uh, very aggressive considering this is a fast car and uh, it's a SUV. We can rate it uh, 9 over 10. Uh, for the steering wheel, very comfortable when you're driving. For the seats, uh, the seats are really comfortable and as you can see you have even something uh, these armrests to latch your hands your arms whenever you're driving so whenever you're driving very comfortable and also from the from this other side at uh, the passenger seat it also have an armrest where you can latch your arm very nice so on the console uh, katikati we have uh, two bottle places where you can keep your bottles and also we have space upper katikati which is very uh, big in Igari very comfortable and very spacious by the way so uh, we cannot forget about the power uh, windows whereby you can roll your windows up and down uh, and you can also control them from the driver's side uh, this car you may get it uh, with a key option or a keyless option but on our side right now what you are talking about is a key uh, option starting and then uh, when you are adjusting your seat it's not power powered but you can pull kukona handle sapa chini and uh, you can pull them up and down to adjust your seat whenever, whenever need be. That's all, but from behind we can show you the leg room because this car, when you're talking about leg room, head room, uh, that is something they have really emphasized on. They really have very good and ample uh, leg room and head room. It's very practical, by the way. So let's head to the uh, rear seats. This space is so big. It is so big. Look at the leg room. Yani, you are seated and you can't even feel the, the seat in front of you. It's so big. Uh, for the headroom, we can't even talk about it. And from that position, let's get to the boot or the tailgate of this car. 
the boat is very spacious as you can see you are able to carry your luggages your items very comfortably mainly because boat nikubo and then these guys are very gracious and they give you all the tools that you need you have you can do your condition gear. It's called a jack, right? Yes, we have it here. We have this cabin. Yes, we have the key. And that one I know. We have more things. So this is why you keep your tools. And they are available up and down. So. That is the boots and it's very, uh, very okay. So let's get into the Toyota Harrier 2015 and see what they have. So guys, now we are coming to look at 2015 Toyota Harrier and this is the interior that we are inside indeed. As you can see, so you come and even your I'm a what's happening here because just look at this interior guys just look at it just look at it yani these people just move yani while you step up from i don't know from where it yani the feeling of this car when you're inside you just feel like they come in here i don't know i'm not trying to compare brands like any you just feel like you have gotten into heaven just look at that look at this leather my dear friends just look at this yes and this is uh, a pure upgrade they have really apart from the facelift from uh, the exterior even the interior the facelift is is inevitable yani you always kosa kuiona and uh, Considering the legroom and the headroom, they still maintained how to reduce, they didn't reduce as much. And uh, the comfortability still check uh, the seats, uh, the finishing of the seats. It's half fabric and also half leather. Uh, that one is a check. Uh, the inner console, you can also see there's a whole difference because because in the middle of the uh, 2009 one you get there is a, a hollow space but for this one it's continuous from the dashboard all with the uh to the middle console and about the spacing the cup holders uh you have more cup holders from uh, the console uh you also get you have more space the console uh, they have added uh, this car is more electronic and more modern, uh, more than the 2009. So, if you're looking for being modern, and remember, this guy also the fuel economy is very, very good, it is better than the 2009. So, see, I'm not marketing this one as much, but for me. Uh, this one have really done a good job for gearing from the 2009. The infotainment here, the infotainment system here, yani it's very, very vocal. You know, on a kind of ropes where just look at this, the vents are really placed in a very good way. And from the infotainment system, you are able to see that like everything is is uh, digital so very 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 um, advisable so I'm just looking at this guy and I'm like wow yani our COVID shall change for yani everything has changed uh, in the 2015 one you get that uh, you still have this nice finishing and uh, here yeah, the leather is dope as usual and uh, the leg room see see what i'm talking about this car about, when you're talking about leg room yani 
it's something you cannot assume. It's something yani, you cannot even try assuming. And then the headroom, oh my god. It's just over out of this world. So that is a leg room, headroom. Seats are also very comfortable so you can move, uh, you can travel uh, with repeat for a very long maybe. See what you're talking about, improvement. See what you're talking about. Yeah, you just finna there. And uh, yeah, we have our cup holders ready. See what you're talking about. And then we have uh, these armrests. And uh, that is when you're not using the katikati seat. And uh, for me, this is a plus. Looks very nice. And yes. So let's get to the boots. And now we are behind this car in this uh, wonderful boots. And as you can see, the spacing is much bigger. It's not as big as the 2009, but it's very practical actually. And again, if you need more space, you can definitely make, uh, make these seats ziyanguke and then you have more space. So, spacing up a ways is a much with a beba waru na mandizi at nini. Yeah, because the space is quite okay. And, nadio kienda naivasha. Hey, at least uko na space ya kubeba mavitu. Kuna kuanga na fish, za hapo like naivasha. So, kuna space ya kubeba. And let's see if you have uh, your gadgets. Hey, you have too much space at up here. You have where you can put your spare wheel. And uh, honestly, comparing these two cars, uh, when you're talking about both Harriers, the 2009 and the 2015, you get that these cars are very reliable. This is Nimagari Konambio, and then also they are very practical. So, talking about the boot of this car, as you can see that this boot is slightly bigger than the 2009 one. And, yani, these two cars, they have really worked on space. All their spaces are very practical, all their place, spaces are very big. So, when you want to look for a car which you be maybe you want a family car, a town car, or even a car kwenda nayo mashambani, this is a car to look out for. And when you're talking about uh, uh, reliability, still this is a car to look out for. So guys, it's your chance now to to compare and even see what you would love to have, whether it's the 2009 or even the 2015 car. So thank you so much guys uh, for watching till this far and thank you so much for the support so far. We really, really, really appreciate because without you, we cannot be doing all this. And yes, I know we are learning so much and we are learning as we progress and uh, we will continue bringing you more funny, more fun, more information and we get to learn everything about cars and even cars themselves. Our time to talk about real motors, they are located at Garden City Mall and they give you the best cars in town. Whether you want a, no, you want a new car or even you want a new car, we also do importations for you. So don't worry if you want to do imports, we will definitely do to that, uh, that for you. And we cannot forget about one person who really makes this, uh, this production special and makes this production get to you right on time and the best that he can. And we are talking about SIG254. Yes, can you just get to his pages where you get him on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook? at two uh, at six two five four and again let's uh connect on our socials at car talks on instagram you'll get more cars there and you'll get more information about cars on a personal level please con uh, get in touch with me on all social media platforms 
at Wairema Gishwaki. That is W A I R I M A G I C H U K I. That is Wairema Gishwaki on all social media platforms. That is Facebook, Twitter, or Facebook X, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Kila Mahali. Get me. And also on YouTube, I have another channel which is Wairema Gishwaki. Thank you so much and God bless you and see you on the next one.